watching live and watching all the activity there on the street, but there's also obviously activity uh, throughout San Bernardino as they're trying to determine whether this is it or there are other things going on. Back with uh, Rod Wheeler and Ron Hosko. Ron, um, we talked about the investigation and where this goes, uh, but until you get to motive, uh, tying all this together is really a puzzle. That, that's right, and, and we will see things. Let's assume these are the players. We will see on social media. Uh, the law enforcement will be able to track. Uh, presumably, they've, they've all been moving with cell phones. They'll be able to track the fact that the three of them were together, that they were at these locations, and that they arrived here. Um, so the pieces will be put together uh, along with those other witnesses in the room if, if Shepard's report turns out. Maybe the nexus as to why this event took place today, and I've been saying all day since this thing first broke, there had to be a correlation between either one or all three of these individuals and that second floor of that building. Because why? They passed the first floor, went directly to the second floor, went to the conference room. Why did they do that? Why didn't they just shoot up everybody on the outside? They didn't do that. So I think what Shep just reported it is really, really interesting, and I think as the night goes on, we're going to learn a lot more. Yeah, but when you're talking mental health, I mean, you've got three guys involved potentially. Sure. That's a, a different. That is ball a different game. ball game. Absolutely, uh, Th that may not be mental health related. Yeah.